On Tuesday morning, students from Northeast Middle School were bonding with friendship bracelets with Fort Campbell wounded warriors. Meanwhile, for the edification of the kids, wounded warrior Sergeant Scott Brooks of Michigan was exercising his right to bear bears. All right, what's up with the bear? Well, the bear sits in the whole office. We had a wounded warrior hunt, and uh, one of the soldiers actually took the bear and was nice enough to let us keep it in the office as a decoration. So. <laughs> Outstanding, man. With the bear explained, Michelle McGilvery explained the bracelets. Oh, the so the soldiers are showing them how yeah, to make the, these. No, the children are showing the soldiers how to make them. <laughs> the children are showing the soldiers how to make them. Well, that comes in pretty handy in the field, I'll tell you that. So, how many of these children have military parents? Oh, right, many. At least eight percent of them have military parents. About eighty percent of them. So they don't. They don't need an explanation of the basics. No, they do not. <laughs> All year, Junior Civitan has worked to um, help society, and that's their mission. Uh, toward the second part of the year, they came up with the idea of helping the wounded warriors um, and to see them actually interact with them and to see what their work has produced. It's just overwhelming. Okay. We're just trying to have fun with the wounded warriors. Um, we want to help other people and not be selfish. Socialization. We're trying to kind of get, yeah, we're trying to kind of get the soldiers, we're kind of helping them in their rehabilitation, supporting them to the overall give them some fun. <laughs> Barely able to contain myself, this is Philip Gray reporting for the Leaf Chronicle of Fort Campbell.